Hey, good morning, guys. Hey, I gotta show you my newest build. First of all, let me explain. I've been welding for about 45 years. Just like everybody else, uh, if you don't wear a, a hood, an air hood like uh, Miller's got or whatever, I can't wear one. It, it, it's too tight on my, my head. It's too heavy for me. So if you're welding for six to eight hours a day, you know what happens. You know it fills up with all the black crap and all that. So anyhow, I've been seeing on YouTube all these different uh, uh, fume removers and I thought you know what I can build one I, I even looked some up and they, they range anywhere from basically sixteen hundred dollars which just pumps it right back into your shop all the way up to six thousand dollars that have filters and all that stuff in there so I decided I'm going to try to make one um, and um, I think it turned out pretty cool uh, I think I did it for somewhere around $200. I've got filters in there. They're smoke filters. They're four inches thick. They're 20 or 16 by 20, two of them. So that's eight inches thick. Um, and uh, it worked out pretty good. The blower that I happen to use is a blower out of a furnace. And as far as I understand, it's 100, 150 CMF or C cubic feet per minute. So, uh, and, and I got two of these for 50 bucks. What I did, I didn't call the local furnace guys. I actually went down to their shop. I figured if I call them, it's easy to blow me off. So I went down there and I explained what I wanted and, and what I needed and uh, what, what, what I was using them for. And uh, I said, if you get any old furnaces that you remove, you know, would you sell me one? They actually had some. Both of them are four speeds. Um, I got one saved and I put the, four, the other four speed in, eliminated the other three speeds. So I've got one speed, the highest speed it's got. Um, added a switch, added a light, added the filters. And I'll explain, I'm not gonna tear the thing all apart. I'll, I'll show you what I did. You guys are gonna make up whatever you wanna make up, but I will show you the test on this. And it's amazing, totally amazing. I have a DJ business, or my wife and I have a DJ business, along with the welding shop and stuff. And we have five uh, smoke machines. They're 500 bucks a piece. These things put out a lot of smoke. So I brought one into the shop, and, and it's not like just welding when you get a, a few little fumes. This thing puts out a lot of smoke, and you're going to be surprised just what, it, what this thing will do. Um, let's see what else was I going to tell you. I don't know. We'll go through this. Anyhow... I, I designed, I built it or designed it, built it, so I got to name it. This is it here. This is the fumulator. So I want to thank my son for coming over and painting this up for me. Um, I told him just have fun, trick it out, and he tricked it out for me. So here it is. Here's my on and off switch. Um, of course, you got you got to have a light. So I threw a little uh, LED light in there. Uh, so basically, this section right here is the blower inside here i made a frame uh i, I made uh it's two by two square tubing on the bottom covered it with uh, 12 gauge steel came up to here this is this is two inch tubing going all the way across down all the way down here same thing here and this is sectioned off so with the blower what i did was i welded a plate on it cut an eight inch hole in it that's the size hole there was I cut an eight inch hole, put a metal duct, round duct in there, and then welded my plate straight up and down. So that sealed this off. The filters are right behind there. And they actually just slide right in. And then uh, the draw comes through another eight inch. So uh, these just slide right out. You can easily replace them. Filters are a little pricey, $29, figure $30 a piece. So you got 60 bucks right there. This hose is more hose than I actually needed. This came from another job that I did a while ago um, for, uh, had to rebuild a, a leaf vacuum and the guy bought way too much hose, told me, go ahead and take what was left. So I did. This hose, uh, this piece of 12 foot hose, I looked it up, it's about 200 bucks. You can get it a lot cheaper than that. You don't need anything this heavy, but what the heck. So uh, 
my frame, this is inch and a half, I put a two inch tubing here so I can actually take, take this boom right out of here. The boom is totally adjustable. I can raise it up, reach, it reaches out here. Now, I went with about six foot high. I figure if, if you're welding any more than six foot, this smoke's above you anyhow. So I can adjust it anywhere I want. Um, and I, I figure for, for the demonstration, <coughs> I've got it right about here. I figure if you're welding here, this would probably be the distance you'd want it, um, and it's not gonna come up in your face. So we'll, we'll just do a quick demonstration. Like I said, uh, oh, and a sheet metal, that's all 12 gauge sheet metal. Everything comes apart except for this piece here. I've got this welded together here, just because of the weight that's on there with the boom, so I wanted that welded in. The rest, I've got one break on it, we broke it here, and then I welded these sides on, the door on, this part's welded together, but it all, take the bolt off, the whole thing will come apart so I can easily change the blower if I want. So, uh, we'll, we'll give you a quick demonstration uh, of just how much this thing, there's no way that you'd be welding and be able to put that much smoke out. So, uh, let, me, uh, let me grab a remote for that. And uh, I'll get this turned on. And it's really, it surprised me just how quiet. If you hear a little humming right now, that's the smoke machine. So, uh, that's the door being sucked shut. And it, it, the air is amazing that's coming out of here. So, uh, well, I'll make sure you find up. That's pretty good. I'm going to give you a quick demonstration uh, of just what this thing will do. So here we go. When you actually could see it going through the tube, it missed a little bit, but there's no way you're gonna dump off that much smoke. And as you can see, nothing down here came through here. It all got stuck in the filter and uh, away it goes. So I, I'm, what I'm trying to say is here, here in Wisconsin, I hate working in the middle of the winter and sucking any of my warm air outside. And that's why I decided to do that. That's what I was gonna say before. I wanted to keep my warm air that you, you try to keep your shop nice and warm. Why would you wanna pump it outside? So this thing is awesome. Probably less than 200 bucks in that ballpark. This steel was all used steel and it, it was all good. Uh, there might be a little gash in it or whatever on the bottom side. But I get this all from the scrap yard. Sometimes I can get a full sheet for like $60 of 12 gauge. So uh, you don't have to go out and buy all new stuff for it. Um, the only thing that new that was new in here was uh, the filters. And uh, you'd, be, you'd be buying a hose unless you have one. But it really, 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 I'm impressed with it. It worked great. And uh, I hope it helps you guys. Don't, you know, whatever design you come up with. But you can be able to filter this stuff out and... Uh, save uh, your nose filling up with black stuff. So, hey, see you guys again.